Dance with me dad again doesn't sound the same, does it? <laughs> Dance with me father again has the quite <laughs> the nice ring, doesn't it? Joe McKelder is my guest. Welcome, Joe. Hello, how are you? The man with the big smile. <laughs> when did I last see you on the telly? Were you on X Factor Extra? Um, oh, I we, was on what you mean I recently? Should, I should have chat show recently. Chat show recently. Were you on X Factor Extra? No. Were you on um, um, what's his name now? The, the late night. I've seen you somewhere. Yeah, I've been. I've been pretty much everywhere at the yeah. minute. <laughs> <laughs> I've been quite a busy, busy boy. Now, pop star to opera star. Yes. W w when you got asked, what did you think, Joe? Well, I was supposed to have that time off. I was just going to take some time off in the mm. summer and chill out. And when I got asked, I just thought, oh, yeah, it'll be a fun project to take part in. Didn't think it would have in the slightest bit of an effect on anything to do with my career because it was so different to what I did. No, but it could. You um, could have made a fool of yourself. Exactly. God, it well, that's big, what I meant. I, it's a big step. Yeah. Well, I just thought it was going to be something fun. It would be a bit of a laugh. A um, bit of a Mickey take, to be honest. Mm. And... And then when I got on there, I realised I was actually going to have to learn how to sing classically. Mm. And I got a bit of a shock, to be honest. And then I realised, like, what have I let myself in for? And, it, you know, going out there, singing a different style that you're not used to, and singing some of the most well-known mm. songs in the universe. Lung busters exactly. as well. <laughs> if you mess them up, you know, the opera critics are pretty harsh. They don't take any rubbish. Well, the, the far as they're concerned, it's a travesty even even holding a competition exactly. like this. You exactly. Know. Um, but is, isn't breathing important, apparently, with opera, more than with pop? I mean, I'm sure you never considered your breathing as much in pop as you, you do now in opera. Bre well, breathing in singing is, like, vital, no matter what style you're singing, mm. but... It's a different style of breathing in opera and classic, classical singing. Um, I, I don't like to say opera because I'm not opera trained. I'm not uh, classically not trained, mean, but yeah. classical style. Um, you've got to be really relaxed, whereas with pop music, the, it, there's a lot of tension in your jaw, and it kind of all comes by the tension of your jaw, and that's how you get the fast notes out and the little rifts and things, whereas mm. classical has got to be really open, lower jaw, breathing from right underneath your yeah. diaphragm. It's, it's a lot more technical, but it's a lot easier because... You're, you're, everything's in the right place. And you probably knew the press would all be skitting at you, what Joe McClary going for pop startups was on. Because you know what they're like with X Factor contestants. Oh, well, you know, they, 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 would, they would be skitting at us if I, did, if I did anything, to be honest. So I was just like, can you, whatever. Can, can you take that okay? Well, yeah. Because you always come over to me as someone who would hate easily. I think people think that, but to be honest, I just let it go over my head. And no, well, they slag good. everybody off. You mm. know what I mean? It's not just me. It's everybody. They've got something to say about yeah, but everybody. But everybody else getting the slag doesn't hurt as much as yourself getting the slag. Yeah, but does I, it? Think, I think if it was just me and they were being nice about everybody else, I would be like, oh, well, that's a bit unfair. But because it's everybody else, it's just like, it's chip paper the next day. To get, mm. God, just get over yeah. it. And, and, you, and you know what? So much for these classical people who turn their nose up. But you know what, Joe? Reversed, they couldn't do it. Uh, well, exactly. They you, could you, not do it. You, no, you can't. Because I said that. I've, I've heard attempts before. I've heard some of the really big opera stars yeah. attempting pop. It's impossible. The, they're hopeless. It's impossible. Because once you've trained the, the, the opposite way, so if you train classically, you can't switch to pop because it would damage your voice so much that it would just ruin it. Because it's so technically and kind of a regimented style of singing that you can't switch. Yeah. I mean, apparently, when, when, he f w when he became big, the, the opera people were sending hit squads after Russell Watson. Really? He was in hiding for years. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> I need to watch out then. <laughs> Jose Carreras had, the, <laughs> Jose Carreras had the mafia looking for him. No, but the thing is, is you know, I think it's, uh, it's obviously a very critical style of music. But, you yeah. know, I don't try and pretend to be something I'm not. I'm, yeah. I'm not a classically trained singer. I did that show. I really enjoyed it. And I wanted to kind of reference some of it on my album. I'm not trying to say that I'm some kind of worldwide yeah. opera singer. So I kind of just enjoy the fact that singing in a different language and singing in that style, I really enjoy it. So that's the main thing. But th this new album, Classic, you must, you must look at it and think to yourself, I never thought I'd be singing the, those tracks. I you never don't pick them in a month or something. Exactly. Every night on tour. I'm on tour at the minute. Yeah. And every night I finish the show with Ness and Dorma and I still can't. Yeah. I still, every night I'm like, yeah. I can't believe I'm introducing this song because it just feels so weird um, yeah. that yeah. I'm singing one of the biggest songs in the world. Yeah. And it just shows you how things change. You never know what's around the corner. And they all stop and wait. 
don't they, for that note? <laughs> for the high note, yes. Yeah. So if you have a sore throat, you're in trouble. <laughs> exactly. Because I used to be the same. I mean, I, Roy Orbison was an idler man, and Roy could hit top C, no bother. And every time I went to see him in concerts, if he did running scared or crying, when he come to the big note, I always said, he's not going to get it. But he always did. It is. I think that that's the thing with those classical songs. They're, they're them kind of songs where they have you on the edge of your seat right the way through. So at the end of the song, it just you're overcome with all these emotions. Yeah, yeah. And even singing them as well. Well, they're so kind of emotionally they have these emotional attachments that just make something happen to somebody when yeah. they hear them yeah uh, which it, is brilliant try, even though people have the faintest idea what you're singing <laughs> about it emotionally affects them doesn't it you know what i mean <laughs> they don't know what you're saying at all uh, well, you know uh, we, were, we actually thought about putting some english translations in the, well, in the album booklet neil sadark has done it but then i thought i thought you know let's let's leave a bit of mystery mystery to it Okay, well, I'll play a record for you after this, Joe, as well, if you can stage it. That dance with my father again, you, you did that for your audition for X Factor as I did, well? yes. I um, It was, I absolutely loved that song, and I grew up listening to, to singers like Luther Vandross, Tina Turner, Michael Jackson, you know, my mum had all those, yeah. those, those albums playing. So I've always loved that song, and I just, I was, I, I was so happy that I got to put it on the album. You know who co-wrote it? Who, uh, who, who co-wrote it? Richard Marks. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. And you know, you know, Joe won Britain's Got Talent. Uh, Britain's Got Talent. Um, Joe, uh, Jai. Yes, 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 he, yes. Well, the, the big song he sang about um, missing you. That's another Richard Mark song. Ah. I was amazed, you know. And I had Richard on the show not too long he ago, and he songs. never mentioned anything He's about wrote those. Some amazing you know, songs. yeah, some amazing. And that is a beautiful song. Oh yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful song. It's a great song. It's a, that's that's an emotional song. Yeah, it is. You know, I sing that on the on the show as well, and sometimes I have to kind of, I have to put a glaze over my yeah. eyes because and I, I, I can tell, just look out and see I people tell you crying as well, their eyes Roger, out. I bet you there's a few classical artists who would like to sing that song. It it I, I, it has a bit of a kind of classical yeah. feel to it. Yeah. The lyrics and how it's a very dramatic song, um, and I love the way Luther Vandross did it with that kind of R and B oh, yeah. style to yeah. it. But it was really cool. So when we did it as well, I wanted to kind of. Because we were doing the classic album and calling it classic, I wanted to kind of get that orchestra feel on it and really yeah. strip it back. So it was. It, it is a very, very emotional song. Okay, now you're at the uh, Philharmonic Hall tonight. I am, yes. You've got a great support act as well, the reason yes. for. Yes, those guys are brilliant. They're in here at four o'clock. Very good guys. The good lads. And the, the, they're lucky they are their own bouncers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were telling me about this the other day. Actually, they were saying about um, they were at a gig and they sometimes have to like kind of pull each other out of situations if it gets a bit crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's hear a track from the classic album. This is Joe and Time to Say Goodbye. Here we are. You probably never thought you'd hear him singing that, but there he is, Joe McEldery, and Time to Say Goodbye. And rumour has it that uh, the only reason Joe went in for pop star to opera star and the reason he sang that, he's determined to cop off with Kathleen Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> and who can blame him? <laughs> I'm sure she'll love you for saying that. <laughs> oh, she's great, though. I love Catherine. what's crazy about Catherine? She comes, at, she comes over, she sells the arena out, but she still comes in. Oh, she's lovely. You know she's what I mean? Lovely lady. She's very, so does Hayley with Stenra. She yes. said, but they come in. You know, people who don't have to come in, but they do come in. You know what I mean? Very talented. And very good looking. As I've said to many times, Joe, you don't get ugly opera stars anymore. You used to all be fat with helmets on. Well, it didn't, eh? Can, no, can listen you you just see what can everybody else is it? thinking, don't you? Can you deny it? Didn't you used to be fat women with Viking helmets on? Not now. <laughs> They're all Hayley with Stenra and Catherine Jenkins. My word. <laughs> right? Oh, now, what am I on blood pressure tablets? I want you to hear this now, Joe. You were talking before about Ness and Dorm. Yes. So I want you to hear this just before you go. Yeah, Joe, there's your English lyrics. <laughs> well, I did an um, English version on my album, Hear My Prayer, of Ness yeah. and Dorma. Um, but that's obviously... I think everybody could... With that song, it's such beautiful music, you can yeah. just put any lyrics to it. Yeah. It's great. It's a, I mean, I remember saying years and years ago that somebody's going to have a hit with Ness and Dorma, but you need Pop English version. lyrics. <laughs> and of course, they did the World Cup thing, and it got to the moment with, with, with the Italian lyrics, you know. It is a great song. Well, Aria. It's an Aria, isn't it? Yeah. And the other one I, I love as well, and uh, Brian May's just done it with Ke Ke Kerry Ellis, um, Anthem. Yes. That's a, a great one. song Chess. as well, yeah. Yeah, it's a great song. So you got a Christmas album out soon as well, I Joe. Do. Classic Next Christmas. Week. It's the only Christmas album out this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's out 28th of November 
And yeah, I was just saying before the song that um, I thought I was going to be the only one with a Christmas album, but it seems the whole universe of musicians this year are releasing one. So it's going to be a Christmas fest. It's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's a, what, was it, what was the name of the band now that got to number one and got on your nerves? Um, Rage Against no, the Machine. No. How could you forget that name? Maybe they'll bring a Christmas <laughs> album out now. They've heard you got one out. <laughs> Do you know, actually, somebody told me the other day, somebody got an email who works with me off the guy who actually said started that campaign, yeah. saying that... Um, he wants to try and start a campaign now to try and get me to Christmas number one. <laughs> How things change. <laughs> yeah. But it was the only week. You were still number one exactly, on the 28th. Exactly. And to it? be well, honest... It's it getting was, to number one that counts. It doesn't matter whether it's in May, June it was, or April. You've had a number one. Yeah. And it was yeah. one of the biggest chart battles ever. It was, It was. to be honest, a great thing historically to be a part of, musically-wise, because, you know, it was, it was a pretty full-on chart battle. It changed, like, every... Two hours. It was changing yeah. the figures. It was amazing to watch. But it, it it does leave within you, Joe, this terrible inner fear to know that they could eventually, if they can do with that with Rage and Machine, they could eventually make Sunita number one. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Anything's possible, the power of the internet now. <laughs> Joe, thanks for coming in. It's Have a, a great pleasure. time tonight at the Philharmonic Thank Hall. Thank you for having and us. And good luck with the Christmas album. Thank you.